This red lustreware vase was produced by Moore & Co of Brosley in 1889. The design of mermaids and fish was produced by Walter Crane, who made a series of vases for the factory, along with some designs for floor tiles. In the 1780s, Thomas Turner started producing porcelain at Carfley in Shropshire. At first, his designs were based on the oriental patterns produced by China and brought here with tea. Later, more continental patterns, such as this one based on a print by Paul Selby, became popular. Thomas Telford was the first modern civil engineer. He was appointed County Surveyor for Shropshire in 1789, and this is the odometer that he used whilst laying out roads and canals around the county. In 1986, a number of what appeared to be elephant bones were found in a quarry at Condover. Further investigation showed that they were actually the bones of a group of mammoths. The Shropshire mammoths are some of the youngest mammoths to be found in Northern Europe and date from the end of the Ice Age, when mammoths were becoming extinct. This slab of limestone was formed during the Ordovician around 500 million years ago. This was a time when Shropshire sat on the divide between two very different environments. To the east were volcanoes spewing out ash and debris, and to the west there was a shallow sea where the muds here were filled with shells, suddenly disturbed by the turbulent water probably following a volcanic eruption. This portrait of Francis Otley and his family was painted in 1636 and used to hang at his home at Pitchford Hall. During the Civil War, Charles I made Francis Governor of Shrewsbury, although he was criticised for being too lenient with parliamentarians. This magnificent bed was produced for Robert Corbett for his new home at Morton Corbett Castle. It bears the date of 1593 when it was made and also the raven which was the family emblem. This gold noble coin was minted in 1473 during the reign of Edward IV. It is the highest value medieval coin that we have in the collection. During excavations at Roxeter in 1923, the broken fragments of this remarkable inscription were found where they had fallen from above the entrance to the main central square in the Roman town. It is one of the finest examples of a Roman inscription carved in Northwest Europe. This elaborate mirror is one of the finest to have been found in Britain. It was uncovered at Roxeter during excavations in the 1920s and would have belonged to a very important and wealthy woman.